praise the Lord, coming out of North Chicago right now. And, uh, ooh, these Chicago land streets. This young man ran up on me at the gas station. I saw him coming with no threat or nothing. I knew he was gonna ask me for something. He, got, he goes, hey, King, hey, King, you got $2? Young man, you out here asking people for two dollars at a gas station? I said, Who you done upset? He said, Huh, sir? I said, Who you done upset? I said, Who you done cussed out? You out here asking people for two dollars this early in the morning at the gas station? He said, That's okay, that's, that's okay. I said, No, come here, come here, let me talk to you. So I don't like this when you get in the car, you got in the car. I said, Who have you upset? Who have you cussed out? Who have you stolen from? Who have you caused grief to? where you have to ask strangers, these Chicago man streets, wow, for $2. So we had a little quick conversation about anger and you know who he didn't cussed out and went off on, and how many times his parents had put him out. Ooh, these Chicago land streets, look at these potholes, wow. That's why I don't come through this way, you know. You learn from coming up or going certain paths or taking certain courses or actions as I leave this alone. So, I went by the ATM machine. I went through 20 bucks, gave him $20. He's for me, I said, yeah, you get you something to eat. As you call and apologize to your parents. As you try not to do it again. As you call me king, I said, brother, the only king that I know is the Lord. I said, but I'm making a living. As you poking around. I said, um, you're taking from strangers. You're taking from your parents. You're taking uh, from your loved ones. I said, but are you working? Are you making a living? You called me king so quick. See, we are in the kingdom, those of us who believe and those who are trying to conduct themselves and just make uh, making a good living. But when you taking and poking and, and you know, and, and lacking you know, you you know, King. We're in the kingdom, and if you're not leading righteously or being led, then you are dumb king. Get it, kingdom, dumb king. So I took him back to the gas station and dropped him off. I told him be careful and pray, and, you know, and lifted up a strong prayer with him. And uh, I just pray he make it. We we see people, and we say God bless them, <laughs> and that's exactly what he gonna do. He gonna bless them. To stay in the condition they're in because of your saved heart, mind, and tongue. God bless them. God bless them. Maybe a kind word. I'm not talking about welfare because welfare to me means farewell to your dignity. As I leave this alone, man, I see a pothole coming in front of, uh, before me. I might have to run off the road to miss it. Goodness. Taxpayer dollars. Nikki want to scream. But yes. Are you working? Are you making? Are you just taking? Are you lacking? Are you poking around? <laughs> you say you're a king, but are you are you taking care of those that are under you? Are you a king dumb? Ooh, sorry about that. Or are you a dumb king? Young man, young brother, I pray you make it. I pray you apologize to your parents. I will never come through here again. <laughs> As I leave this alone. And I pray he get off the path and the course and the fixation and the non-fixed actions that he's on. Wow, these potholes. Man, Lord, repair the potholes in our heart, the potholes in our mind. Speed limit 25, he doing about 50. And get me out of this hood safely. <laughs> and I won't take this course again, this path. Bless that young man on his journey. Bless him to go from being a dumb king to acknowledging and knowing the kingdom that's inside of him, that's calling him, that's inside of all of us who acknowledge it. Kingdom or dumb king? Deep message, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Father. The most high God. High God. <laughs> Peace.